hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are staying safe in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this dress and we're just going to be focusing on the pattern in this video and then next week we'll have the sewing video out so this picture is a sleeveless tweed dress and the buttons on it as you can see are for decorative purposes so if you're interested in learning how to draft a pattern definitely keep watching to the end of this video so you want to start out with your basic pattern so you need your body bodice and your skirt pattern right and if you don't know how to draft those please go ahead and check the videos i have linked in icads above and in the description box below there will be one video for the skirt and one video for the bodies you need your paper scissors you'd also need your ruler your marker or pencil you need your paper tape and some weights just to hold down your pattern Started off with the front pattern pieces, you want to get your skirt and then you want to get your bodice block and you want to align them on the table. You would instantly notice that your dart does not align and it's important for your dart to align in this dress. So you want to go ahead and use paper tape to hold the dart in place and you might have a gap like mine at the end of the day where the bodice extends beyond the skirts. So I'm placing a piece of paper underneath and I'm using some paper tape to hold that in place. The idea is we want to go ahead and reshape the curve and then we're going to reshape the dart. After drawing the curve with a marker, go ahead and cut it out with a paper scissors as shown. And now this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in closer so you guys can see. But now I'm going to have to join the bodies to the skirt around the waist area. To redraft the darts, the first thing you want to do is you want to get your actual waist measurement, that's the waist circumference measurement, divided by four because we are working with a quarter of the body when you're doing pattern, right? And so in my case, it's 84 centimeters divided by four, which gives me 21 centimeters. Note that somewhere. Next, you want to go ahead and draw a line where the bodice meets the skirt. I remember that we're working with the front at this point. So after drawing that line, we're going to measure that line. And in my case, after measuring the line with a ruler, I have 25 centimeters. Now, the simple math we're going to be doing is this. Whatever you get when you measure the line minus a quarter of your waist measurement. In that case, in my case, it leaves me with 4 centimeters. When I do 25 minus 21 is 4 centimeters. Now, we're going to go ahead and mark out our new dart. To mark out our new dart, you want to start with your dart point or your dart midpoint. And for this one, we're not going to change anything. We're going to actually maintain the line in the middle where you have your boss point, right? So from that boss point line, I'm going to go ahead and square down. And the only thing we're changing is on the skirt part. So go ahead and square down just like I'm doing. And in terms of where to square to, you're squaring to where your previous dart is, okay? So I'm going to head to square down there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the excess that I had when I did 25 minus 21, which is 4. And I'll divide that excess by 2 by two so that gives me two centimeters to the left of that dark leg and two centimeters to the right of that dark leg so go ahead and mark you know half of your excess to the left and half of your excess to the right in my case it's two centimeters after doing that go ahead and redraw the dart and then you can take away or erase your previous dart you should actually be using a pencil i'm only using a pen so that you guys can at least see the dart clearly now you can go ahead and separate this because the style actually requires that the bodice is separate from the skirt now we're going to move on to the back piece and we're going to repeat the same thing so you guys have a chance to see it again get your back bodies and your back skirt align them and you'll see that the dart does not meet go ahead and put them in place with paper tape and then go ahead and sort out the sides so with the sides again you want to add some paper to the sides and then you want to reshape it using a french curve you want to go ahead and make sure that you're reshaping it properly and i've zoomed in closer this time so you can see it so reshape it as i'm doing like that just so that it meets each other nothing too drastic and then after reshaping cut off the excess paper once the excess paper has been cut off it is now time for us to do our new dart again to do your new dart the first thing you want to do is you want to get your waist measurement divided by four and that is in my case 21 centimeters you want to note them down somewhere then you want to go ahead and measure the line that you have where the waist meets the um, where the bodice meets the skirt so the waist point make that line bolder so i'm using a pen here as you can see and then you want to go ahead and read the measurement of this point right again when you read the measurement i have 25 centimeters just like i did the last time so it shows me that it's a bit equal you should actually have similar measurements so then what i do is 25 
minus 24 minus 21 rather and that gives me an excess of four centimeters again i take the mid dart points that i had on the bodies right i maintain the dart point on the bodies as my dart point and then i go ahead and square down from that point to where my to the you know where the previous length of the dart was so you square down so that you have the same dart length you're not changing the length you're only changing the position of the dart and then you want to divide your excess in my case four centimeters by two so i mark two centimeters to the left of the dart length of the dart point and two centimeters to the right of the dart point now for this one you'll notice that i'm reshaping the dart at the top and i'm also doing the dart at the leg um at the bottom of the skirt if necessary you need to go ahead and do that as well if it maintains the same points like for the bodies it didn't move it was the same point i didn't have to reshape the bodies for the front however for the back piece i had to reshape the um, dart on the bodies and also reshape the dart on the skirt after reshaping the darts go ahead and cut it out and at this point this is what you should have all right guys it's time for us to turn this straight skirt into an a-line skirt so the first thing you want to do is elongate the dart leg so that's the middle point on your dart you want to elongate that line or just square it down whatever word you want to use and after doing that we're going to go ahead and slit that line so you want to get your paper scissors and we're going to cut through that line using our slash and spread method i'm sure some of you already know what i'm doing now we're going to close you know the top that and that will give some room at the bottom if you haven't seen my video on how to do a slash and spread method go ahead and watch the video i'll link it in the icons above and in the description box below now after slashing through the points at the bottom you want to go ahead and get another piece of pattern paper and you want to place it underneath next you want to go ahead and close the dart points that you have okay so i'm going to do this again so you guys can see at this point i'm only just holding the paper the pattern down with some weights just so you can see but the moment i close it you can see it starts to give ray at the bottom and it becomes a bit wider so let's go ahead and close the dart in place with some paper tape and hold that in place at this point if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the awesome tutorials i have for you so after closing the dart, you want to go ahead and, you know, spread out your pattern in a way that it's natural for the pattern to spread out. So you don't want to tear it, you don't want to force it to spread open, you just want to spread it in a way that is natural. Now after spreading it, you want to go ahead and, and you know, tape it down. So I've gone ahead to tape it down at this point and then the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and shape our A-line. So you want to go ahead and start with, you know, measuring out how, you know, you want the the length of the a line so from the end of it you want to go ahead and mark out a line just so that it's straight and on that line you want to mark out five centimeters right that's what i recommend if you want it to go out more if you want a more a line then you can go more than five now from that five centimeters point you want to go ahead and draw a slant line that leans or that you know disappears or goes back into the hip line the upper hip line so go ahead and do that which is what i've done now and then the next thing we want to do is actually mark the skirt length so i don't want mine all the way to my knee point i actually want it slightly shorter so i start measuring from the waistline from that line that you can see not the one above and then i go ahead and mark 20 centimeters because i want it to be even so i do 20 centimeters um 20 inches my bad so like i said starting from the waist um line you want to go ahead and mark 20 inches all through and just do this patiently making sure that your skirt is equal all through so I go ahead and you know mark out my 20 inches points and then after that using a free hand I go ahead and connect my dots together and the reason why I prefer this method is at least my skirt is even and I can guarantee like you know one side is not shorter than the other now after doing this and you're happy with everything you have done you want to go ahead and grab your paper scissors and you want to cut it out for this a line I didn't want it too much so basically i have it like slightly fitted around the hip and then it just goes a bit a line just like the picture after cutting out the front piece because remember this is still the front piece that we're working on you want to go ahead and label appropriately if you haven't already and we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the back piece so you want to get your back skirt again at this point it's a straight skirt you want to go ahead and elongate the middle dart line so that's the center line on the dart just to elongate that all the way to the end and then you want to grab your paper scissors and you want to go ahead and slash that line that you've just drawn 
so you want to slash it as close as possible to the beginning of the darts but don't cut through the darts so just slash it as close as possible once you're done slashing you want to go ahead and close the darts and use some paper tape to hold it in place again because we're using like a slash and slash and spread method one thing you'll notice instantly is that the moment you close the dart it starts to open up and give way and we're beginning to have our a-line skirt if you don't want it a-line like too obvious you can actually work with a pattern like this however i prefer like a little bit more obvious a-line so go ahead and and place this on another piece of pattern paper just like I'm doing and then use some paper tape to hold that in place you don't necessarily have to hold the center back in place just the side back because that's the part that we need to extend as well as the part where we've opened up in the center right so hold it in place with your paper tape and after doing that you want to go ahead and extend the line on the side back just like i've done after extending the line you want to mark five centimeters so that it aligns with the front and then you want to connect it with a slant line back to the upper hip line so the upper hip line is actually that line that you can see at the top just where the weights are sitting next Starting from that line that you have on the inside, I went ahead to mark 20 inches all through my skirt, just like I did for the front. It's pretty much an exact re replica for the front. So go ahead and mark that all through. And then after marking that, you want to go ahead and cut it out so that you are done with the bottom part of your dress. hi guys if you haven't subscribed please do well to subscribe it turns out that a lot of you don't subscribe and that really hurts my feelings so please subscribe if you haven't once you're done subscribing you can go ahead and cut it out just like i'm doing and at this point our um, skirt pattern is finished for both front and back we did the front earlier and this is the back and as you can see the a-line is not too dramatic it's just subtle enough to notice that yes this is an a-line skirt but also um, enough to also maintain the fittedness around the hip area so i'm just checking the length and the sides of both pieces of pattern and they seem to align and i'm happy with the result i'm going to put this away and we can grab the body so that we can start working on the upper part of the dress once again if you don't know how to draft a basic body please check out the videos that i have linked in the i cards above and in the description box i have a detailed tutorial so the first thing we're going to do is literally just close the dart and we're not closing it all through yet so i'm not using any paper tape you can just use a pin if you need something to hold it in place and what we want to do is actually just mark out the shoulder length so starting from the edge I want to go ahead and reduce the shoulder length at the edge by half an inch just because of the style i don't want it to get to the exact end of my armhole then from that half an inch point i want to mark two and a half inches while my dart is closed this is the total length i want for the shoulder so that's what i just wanted to do next you want to reshape the ammo using one of your curves so i'm gonna head to grab a curve and i'm just reshaping the ammo so that it goes back to that half an inch at the shoulder i went ahead to spin this so that it's clearer but as you can see the shoulder on the dress is not too wide now you can open up your dart and this is what it looks like when the dart is open the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut it or draw a slant line rather from the shoulder tip up until the center front tip right and you'll see it nicely this is how it looks like when you draw the line so again from the shoulder tip where you've marked you want the shoulder width to end up until the center front tip after drawing that line you want to go ahead and cut it out with your paper scissors and then you want to go ahead and label the pieces you have the center front piece to the um, left and this sent um, the side front piece again cut out the excess around the ammo and this is pretty much it done for your um, front bodies you can set separate the pieces by cutting out your dart so basically we're not going to have any visible darts we're actually cutting through the dart and after cutting through the dart you, again you would have two pieces for the front body so you have the center front piece as well as the side front piece Remember to label your pattern, write down the name, write down the allowances, indicate the grain line, um, mark any notches that you need to mark on your pattern. So I'm pinning this in place, I'm going to put it away and then we can start with the back pattern as well. 
go ahead and grab your back bodies and then you want to lay this on the table again we're going to go ahead and mark half an inch from the end of the armhole i'm going to mark it inwards and this is so that we can cut it off and reshape the armhole area so we shape the armhole area with a french curve and then this is what you have now from that point we're going to go ahead and make sure our dart is closed if you need to use a paper tape use it or if you need to use your pins hold it in place with a pin whatever works for you and then go ahead and mark out your shoulder length and again i went with a length of two and a half inches so i just maintained what i went with for the front so now that i have my two and a half inches shoulder length you can decide what what neckline you want for the back i went with a simple neckline just a simple curve so i took one of my french curves and i just drew like a simple curve here at the back after drawing the simple curve at the back you can go ahead and open up the dart and if you want to go ahead and cut off the neckline and cut off the ammo you can now or you can do it later next what we want to do is ensure the two darts meet so the shoulder dart meets the waist waist dart and for this you're literally just enlarging in the shoulder dart so you want to go ahead and start from where your waist dart ends and then you want to go ahead and draw two slant lines to connect with the dart legs around the shoulder area and this elongates your dart after elongating the dart you can cut through the armhole excess cut away the neckline just as i'm doing now and then you want to go ahead and cut through your dart so that you have two pieces by the time you're done you should have your center but center back piece and your side back piece and if it helps go ahead and label your pieces just like i'm doing now okay so cut through your dart and this is what it looks like after cutting through the dart okay dokie guys at this point we're done with our pattern you should have four pieces for the bodice two for the front and two for the back and then you should have two pieces for the skirt area one for the front and one for the back go ahead and label your pattern pieces appropriately including every notches and um, any notches rather and grain line necessary and then make sure you tune in next week to see the sewing video on how to actually finish this dress and sew it in place thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye